Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And today, we are back with the Mates Cider Company. Now, if you've um, seen my Elderflower review, well, if you haven't, go and watch it. Um, but, generally, I think the, um, you know, I've really liked the Mates Cider Company. Most of their ciders that I've tried have been really, really good. Um, I will admit, though, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this one, but mainly not due to um, the fault of anything that Mates um, Cider Company has done, because um, it's just generally the flavour that it is. Um, today, I am reviewing their Linnet Rhubarb Cider. Uh, and, well, uh, rhubarb is a bit hit and miss with me. I don't like rhubarb itself. Um, I can sort of tolerate rhubarb crumble a little bit, but it's definitely not my preferred dessert of choice. And uh, when it comes to actually it being in a cider, it's, again, been a bit hit and miss. The uh, Rosie's Pig flat tyre, I really didn't like. Um, it just tasted, you know, too artificial and too sweet for me. But I've had a couple of other, um, like, rhubarb ones from, like, Bag of the Box, which have actually been not too bad. Been more akin to, like, a, a rhubarb and custard sweet. So, be interested to see, um, you know, how this one fares up. Um, as you can see, the Linnet one comes in um, 500 ml bottles and is 5.2% ABV. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit higher uh, higher ABV. Sorry, my, my cat is literally right next to me and she's uh, having a bit of a spaz attack. So, um, do apologise if she uh, just suddenly comes across the camera. I hope she doesn't. Anyway, let's see what it says on the back. Linnet is a still cider blended with rhubarb juice to create a balanced, fresh, fruity flavour. I'll try saying that quickly. The apples are hand-picked by us from unsprayed traditional orchards in Somerset and Herefordshire. We press, ferment, blend and bottle with great care to ensure that this is an excellent craft cider, but with a difference. We all at Mates hope that you enjoy this cider. And it just contains sulfites to preserve freshness. So yeah, Mates Cider is based in uh, Minity Wiltshire. Hope I've uh, said that correctly. So let's waste no more time. I mean, uh, it is has recently just been my birthday. I am now <laughs> years and a day old. I'm not going to say exactly how often, how old I am, but yeah, um, <clears throat> and a day old. So in a way, it's sort of a post birthday celebration cider. So here's hoping it's good. Let's get this uh, top off. Obviously, no carbonation because it's a still one. And uh, well, firstly, let's see what it smells like. Probably rhubarb. Um, actually, it smells uh, a little bit dry on the nose. Slight hint of rhubarb there, but really nothing, um, really nothing major at all. It smells actually, you know, really light, really, um, you know, really fresh, I suppose you could, I suppose you could call it. Um, uh, but overall, yeah, it smells really nice. Let's get this, uh, let's get this poured in the glass then. Don't think there's any sediment in there, so, um, the good thing is, it doesn't look like a rhubarb cider, if you know what I mean. Um, Cause like, oh there we go, there is a little bit of sediment. Lovely stuff, always like to see that. Yeah, so the colour, as you can see, yeah, completely still, look at all that sediment floating in there. Is that bits of rhubarb or bits of apple? Who knows? But always good to see a bit of sediment in there. Uh, but yeah, really light, um, light yellowy, um, sunshine sort of colour there, definitely like, yeah, quite light. Looks a bit more like a, a pear cider, actually, or a perry. So, you can see it doesn't actually look like a, uh, a rhubarb flavoured drink, because normally it has sort of a pinky sort of hue to it, so... Well, let's see what it smells on the glass. Still all very, uh, very light flavours. Um, slight hint of sweetness there. Um, you can smell uh, the rhubarb, but it smells... Um, it does smell fresh, it doesn't smell overly sweet, it doesn't smell artificial. Overall, it actually does smell really nice and still smells like a proper cider, so I'm hoping it tastes like it. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Cheers, guys. Here's to Mates Linnet Rhubarb Cider, courtesy of Orchard Box. Cheers. That is not bad at all. I'm getting a second opinion. Mm. That's really nice. I like that. Um, 
because of the rhubarb, it is quite sweet in its taste, but it's not overly so. Um, it's not like uh, overly like saccharine and, you know, it's not even like thick or cloying in its texture either. Um, very light in body, which um, does make it quite easy to drink because sometimes uh, these sorts of these sorts of ciders they kind of tend to go overly um, overly thick on the texture and it sort of makes it sometimes a little bit undrinkable or a little bit hard to drink anyway. Uh, but but yeah, very light, in, very light in body and texture, and actually, really the, per the perfect balance of um, apple tastes and rhubarb tastes here. Uh, instantly, instantly um, hit with like a, a sweet um, culinary or dessert um, apple uh, in there, and then just afterwards you get just the faintest hint of rhubarb, just um, just coating all around your mouth, and. It's, it's really nice, it's, it, it lingers, it's got a lovely lingering um, aftertaste of rhubarb as well, which um, is, yeah, I, I feel is like the perfect balance actually. I thought it was going to be just all rhubarb and nothing else, but actually they've done a really good job with this and uh, you can definitely tell um, that, you know, they have, you know, taken their time to make it, you know, taste really, really good. So let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict. Hmm. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, as I said, for someone that's not a huge fan of rhubarb, I quite like that. It's uh, it's easy to drink. Um, I feel if it was carbonated, it probably would lose some of its flavour or might make um, something a little bit too overpowering. But as it stands, because it is still very, very light flavours, um, but they all just kind of uh, culminate together and you can and you still get some really lovely tastes from it despite it being you know you know very, very light in its flavors and its taste so well done mates you've done uh, a really good job with this one um so with that said for a final verdict mates linnet's rhubarb cider is getting a seven out of ten from me very very well done um yeah so far the only one that I've not well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give too much away from which one I didn't enjoy if you didn't um if you didn't see it. And I'm not one to always like continuously, you know, bash a company for, you know, a cider that I didn't particularly like. Uh but yeah, this one is yeah, this one is really, really good. Highly I highly recommend it. Um and I still have one more cider to try from there. They're uh, Goldeneye, so looking forward to that one. Um but for now, that is another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Till then, ah, perfect cider for this uh, sort of weather. I'm going to go and finish this off quite nicely. Take care, guys. Till next time.